Okay, so um, we're going to be tackling this render today. We're going to actually approach this one a little bit differently than we have done in the past design tutorials. Uh, we're going to be using some assets and some color palettes just to make a interesting composition. And um, so yeah, let's get into it. For this model right here, we're going to be using a model from BlendSwap. I'm going to provide the link in the description to get this one. Um, so yeah, this is what we're going to be using. We're not going to be modeling this because that, that would be a massive tutorial. Um, so the way you do it, you go to file and then right up here and then you click append and then go to where you, um, unzipped the file and we're going to be using the one that says six or final blend and then object and we're going to, um, click on the plane. So right here, and then also we're going to append the eyes. So that would be sphere, um, real quick, click the sphere and then click the plane, hold down shift and click plane. And click Control P, and we're going to parent the eyes to the um, head so that we don't have to worry about um, those kind of going in a weird direction. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to just flip this over, um, like just like that. And so what we're going to do is we're going to um, put a cloth simulation right on top. But if we just put it on top of this head, it's actually going to cut right through the neck here because of the topology. So we're just going to fix that by getting a UV sphere and just putting it and filling up the neck right here so that it doesn't cut through. So we're going to leave it just like that and we won't have any um, cloth simulation problems. So click on your head, go down here to the physics and click on collision and then on your sphere also click collision. So now we're going to add our plane that we're going to put right on top of it. We're going to scale it up right about there. I'm going to subdivide it and then give it 20 subdivisions. All right. Now on your, um, go to the physics and go to cloth. The only thing that we gonna, we're going to change is self collision. Go to your collision and just click self collide. And that's the only setting we're going to touch in here. So just click play and sort of watch it do its thing. We're just kind of seeing if the size is good and it looks like it's pretty good. So that looks good. I'm gonna take our plane and I'm gonna subdivide it one more time for the final and then do uh, re recalculations for that. Okay, so now that we have it um, in a good spot, go to your modifiers and just on your cloth click apply and that's just going to keep it so you can go back and it is not going to change and i'm just going to add a subdivision surface and give it smooth shading and now we have a pretty nice uh simple cloth we kind of have we're kind of having some problems here but if you click up so put your render on two and you won't have those vertice problems all right so right now we kind of have a nice looking render here um so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a background to this real quick, and then we're going to move on um, to the rest of the tutorial. So just give it a nice background and bring it back like that. Um, we're going to add our camera. So in your resolution, we're going to give it 2000 by 2000, just like the normal ones. And we're going to add our camera and then we're going to hit shift alt zero. And we're just going to zoom it in a little bit. Okay, so if we go into look dev um, and we turn off bloom here, um, looks pretty good. We're going to do some shading. So the, what we're going to do with that is we're going to use some color palettes. So I'll show you what website to go to for that. So we're going to we're going to use hex-color.com. I'll link that in the description. Go to palettes and click on popular palettes, and just go in and pick a palette that you want to use that might look good for this. Okay, I'm going to use this pastel color palette. Um, so for the background, I'm going to use a blue. I'm going to hit Control C, and then I'll go back into Blender. And then so for our background, I'm going to add this new one. We're going to make it metallic. And then in our color, click on hex and paste um, that color palette in there. And we get a nice light blue. For our blanket here, we're going to use the pink. Control C, and then we're going to go back add a new shader for that one, make a metallic and just do the same procedure on all these picking whatever color you want for the shaders. 
Okay, so for our lighting, we're going to use an HDR from HDR Labs. I'm going to link it down in the description. Just go in there and pick one of those free HDRs, and we're going to move on with the lighting for that. So to use um, the HDRI, go to the World Settings, click Use Nodes, click right here and click Environment Texture, and then navigate to wherever you saved your HDR. So we're going to use the Cycles Render Engine for this, so go up, and I'm going to change it if it's not already there, and then let's check out the render. So right now I'm just going to up the strength to 3 and looks good for now. I want to add one more blanket to this. So click your current blanket and go to your physics and make it a collision object. And then let's add one more plane to this scene um, just to add some nice texture to it. Um, and we'll subdivide it 20 times. It's kind of the sweet spot number for this and then we'll go in and make it a cloth. Okay, so I'm going to go with the modifiers, click apply, add a subdivision surface, smooth shading, and then for our shader, we're just going to take the roughness all the way down and the transmission all the way up, and we're going to have this clear sort of plastic kind of um, sheet on top of our current pink blanket. So what that's going to do is just going to add this sort of satisfying, sort of visually interesting look to what we're going on and it just kind of looks better than just having that one sheet on top of uh, the render so yeah that's basically the render um in your settings i would put your sampling over here at 300 and um, for your denoising i would put it over here i would give it 0 0.1 on the denoising and um yeah that's kind of the settings i would put it at it should look pretty good and go in and change whatever colors be creative and have fun and yeah, that basically sums it up. I hope you liked this, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching.